Arsenal Fan TV, DT, very disappointing today. Mm. I mean, you, you, you did say last week that you felt um, the win against Leicester kind of papered over the cracks. But we had so many chances there today to win the game. We weren't clinical enough. And then a mistake by Granit Xhaka in the midfield. Poor defending and we lose the game. Still us that are at fault for everything, Robbie. Sorry? Us that are at fault. First half, we were poor. We didn't really create a lot of chances. There was the penalty on Bellerin, was it or not? I'm not going to comment because I haven't seen it. Um, but overall, we was really poor. Mm. Um, and Stoke started really well. You go to the second half and we woke up when they scored. How many times do we do that? Why can we not start games just like that? What I don't get today is formations, where certain players are playing, substitutions. It baffles me. And when Wenger does wrong, I will sit and I will say it. It's as simple as that. Why was Bellerin playing left wing back? He was poor today, but yet instead of taking him off, he took off our actual left wing back and kept Bellerin on. It's like Wenger wanted to keep Bellerin on to prove a point as to why he put him there in the first place. Welbeck was poor. He leaves him on and takes Lacazette off. You could feel the tension and the mood within the stand. When the full-time whistle went, I looked around and all I could see was last season all over again. Fans angry, fans frustrated, Wenger walking towards the tunnel, fans shouting. This is the problem we have and we've spoke about this. With Wenger signing a new contract that even if you give him the chance, if he doesn't go out there and change his ways, all it takes is one defeat and all that negativity comes back up again. We've got Liverpool next week. We're already three points behind Man United. They've got a very nice, easy set of games to start off the season. We could go into the game against Liverpool six points behind them already. Come on, Robbie. We were told it's the catalyst for change this year. All right? I've seen them get in Jens Lehmann, yet our goalkeeper's still poor. I've seen them getting a chief negotiator. What is he negotiating? Because we're not buying anyone. And, and then you look at other areas of the pitch that are not being addressed. I said in pre-season, we need a defender. I got told uh, every name under the sun I was called. It's only pre-season. It's fine playing El Nenny there. It's fine playing Maitland-Niles there. Even though they're never going to play a Premier League game there. Let them play. Let them have some experience. Yeah, they went down under Australia. Way. I said, no, you have to address certain situations and, and areas in the team for the start of a season. It's not about giving someone a bit of experience here and there. Do you know what I mean? And it's, especially when you look at it and you go, right, start of the season, we know that Gabriel's injured. He's actually gone now anyway. Mm. But before we knew he was going, he was injured. We knew Mustafi was coming back late from Confederations Cup. We knew that Koscielny was suspended. So that should have been one area where Wenger goes in pre-season, right, I'm making sure this area is bang on for game one. No pissing around. Let's try Maitland-Niles in midfield. Because funnily enough, he's a midfielder. Play him there. Reese Nelson gets his minutes, plays there. You know, Willock in the centre. That's fine. Give him some run outs, play him there. But in an area so key to the start of this season, pissed around with. And when Mustafi was back in there today, though. Mustafi was in there. Um, all right, I know he played uh, Monreal as a centre. I, I, exactly. I, I don't get that either. Exactly. Playing that today when you've got Mertesacker there on the bench. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening with Callum Chambers. But, you know, still today, the players that were out there should have done uh, um, better with, you know, I mean, the amount of chances we missed. Yeah. Should have, could have, would have. Story of Arsenal, isn't it? It's, you so know, for you, you've got no, there's no... You see no difference from last no, season. No, because Robbie, the thing is, yes, we were creating chances, but I saw the same repetitive sideways football. It was right, middle, left, left, middle, right. And Stoke literally sat with two banks of four in front of the keeper and went, go on then, get past us. Good luck. And although we had some chances, they were not real clear-cut, massive, huge chances, one-on-ones. We bring Giroud on with 25 minutes to go and it takes until the 92nd minute to cross the ball. And he should have scored. And, and he should have scored. Probably, the two yeah. crosses in yeah. the box were in injury time and he won both of them. 
So it makes you think, why are you doing that? Bellerin, like I said, playing down the left-hand side, he was never going to go and beat on the outside and cross with his left foot. Stoke were going, yeah, that's fine. Just sh shift him in, shift him in. It's perfectly fine. And like you said, Mertesacker. Arsene Wenger made that man the captain of this club. He's on the bench. He's fit. He's a central defender, a World Cup winner. But yet you play a left back in front of him. Sorry, but someone needs to sit there and ask Arsene Wenger these questions. Why? Mertesacker isn't just coming back from a, a leg injury and stuff like that. It was, it was a head injury. He had a gash mm. above his eye. Yeah. If he's not fit to start, why is he on the bench? Rob Holding was here today, but not in the squad at all. So what must he be thinking? Yes, he had a bad game last week, but now I'm out of the squad completely and a left back's playing in my position. These are certain questions that I want Arsene Wenger to answer. Next week, Liverpool away. Oh, great. Happy days. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Yay. Liverpool away. Can we go there and, and get... I mean, are you, are you just feeling it's going to be the same old, same old? Same old, same old, Robbie, because I haven't seen any different. Today, it was like I just teleported back to last year and the year before and the year before. And it's... You, if you wasn't wearing the new kit... Yeah, to prove it was today, anyone would have thought this video was just brought back up from last year. Because that's how it feels, Robbie. We're not addressing the, the problems in the team. We need a centre-back. We need one. It's very clear that we need a centre-back. We've got so much money. Go out and put an offer in for Van Dijk that makes Southampton say, all right, cool, off you go. You know, stop pissing around dilly-dallying, stupid little bids here and there and whatever it is. Go and address the situation because my concern is that it's going to get even more toxic. You imagine we lose to Liverpool next week, right? And they overrun us, which they normally do at Anfield and they did last year. It's just going to turn again, Robbie, and I don't want that. I know I want change of manager, but I'm willing to support him if he changes. But he isn't changing. 